everyone, this is Michelle Kane with Michelle Kane Actions. Today I'll be showing you how you can combine multiple exposure images into one file in Photoshop. Starting in Lightroom, I've got a picture of my son in the snow, and I exposed for his face, but the snow gets really blown out and we don't get any detail. And uh, I'm going to show you how we can bring that detail back. So the only thing that's happened to this picture is I've changed the temperature. The original temperature of the picture was really cool. Um, I didn't change that setting in camera, so I just changed it here in Lightroom. And I warmed it up a little bit. And then what I did is made a virtual copy of the image. And that's what you see here down in the thumbnails here. And you can see that little um, page curl is the virtual copy. And this is just a, a copy of the original picture. And you can do that actually by just right clicking on the thumbnail of the image that you want to make a virtual copy of and then say create virtual copy and then it'll put the virtual copy right next to it. So this is right here the virtual copy and from here I've made a couple of changes to the picture. I'll go back to my original so I can see what I've done. Um, what I've done to the virtual copy is uh, decrease the exposure I warmed up the temperature because in doing that the temperature got uh, really really blue and cool and then I took the white clipping which are the whites and I increased the whites a little bit to brighten up those whites um, played with the temperature a little bit more and finessed the exposure down a little bit more took the highlights and made the highlights a little bit darker and finally took the shadows and made those even darker so in doing all of those steps Basically, I was trying to get all of the detail in the snow back. So now that I have a copy like this where he's too dark, but the snow is great, and I have a picture like this where he's exposed properly, but the snow is blown out, I'm going to combine those two. So if you don't shoot raw, and um, especially for snow pictures, I suggest that you try it so that you can combine your exposures like we're going to do here. So taking the original and then taking my um, virtual copy, I'm just going to shift click and select both of those thumbnails. And then if I just right click, I can say edit in. And here's the thing you want to do. You want to open as layers in Photoshop. And this will put each of these uh, images and exposures into one file. So we're going to do that. And it'll take just a moment to open it up. This what you're seeing on your screen here is the final edit that we're going to come up with and we'll go through those steps here as well. So it's combining those two exposures into one file. So it's done doing its thing and what we see is we have the bright exposure on top of the dark exposure in the layers panel. So um, what I want to do for this particular one is I'm just going to change the order of the layers with the dark on top and then I'm going to turn off the visibility of the dark and I know I want to pop out um, detail and sharpness and a little bit, uh, get some punchiness in him. So I'm going to go back to the bright one in the layers panel. And I'm actually going to play the action called Blend of Brilliant. And once Blend of Brilliant runs, let's turn this off and on. And we've got a nice punchiness to him. The only thing I'm going to do in Blend of Brilliant is I'm going to open it up and there's a darkened layer and it's turned off by default. I'm just going to punch that up just a little bit until I see the darkness that I want on him. So it gave him a little bit more um, definition there. So I'll close that back down and we'll go and turn on the dark layer. So now here's our dark exposure. Really we just want the snow so I'm going to come down in my layers panel and add a layer mask and I'll invert that layer mask, Command or Control I, to cover the dark exposure up. And now we're just going to bring in with a white brush, and I'm going to go like a 50% opacity. We'll just start to bring in this exposure around him, so we're bringing in the snow. And I'll back that up and use my black brush and make sure I didn't get it on him. And right there, we've got a complete edit, and we've got the detail of the snow and the detail of the subject. And let's switch over to the other image that's completely edited, 
And really all I added in here was um, I played the action pearly whites. Now these are, this is normally an action for teeth, but I really love it on blue-eyed people. Um, and I just painted this over his eyes just a little bit. You can see that it makes the eyes pop in and out. And I'm going to zoom my picture in a little bit so you can see this a little better. Pearly whites is great. And then I played color jolt and I lowered the opacity down just a little bit. And you can see that it just jolted the color a little bit. Um, optional. Translucent haze, I just wanted a little bit of softness over the entire picture, so off and on. I kind of like what translucent haze does into a picture. Um, just toning things down a little bit. And then finally, uh, I did flawless face and just basically ran it over the snow to make the snow just feel a little bit softer and not so harsh. It's optional again. This is what I happen to do on this particular picture. I'm going to take that opacity down just a little bit. And then finally, uh, I played light and shade, and I just played up the catch lights in his eyes and made his eyes pop a little bit. And that's it. A quick, easy way to combine your exposures if you use Lightroom, um, edit multiple exposures as layers inside of Photoshop. And again, make sure in those snow pictures especially that you shoot raw so that you have plenty of information in your photographs to play with those exposures and bring back the details that are hidden in the blown out snow. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. For more information about my actions, please visit my website, michellecanephotography.com. Thanks everybody and have a blessed day.